Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a new video for you guys. So I decided to bring a little literature into this channel. And by literature, I mean, I'm spilling the tea on poems. So I have a special guest who is like known for her poetry. So she is a poet on YouTube. Well, a word, word speaking poet on YouTube. She posts her poems on Instagram. Y'all should check it out soon. And also, she got published in our college magazine. So today, my guest, longtime friend since high school, Free Unikitty. Hey guys, as Wesley said, I am Free Unikitty, the poet herself in the flesh. And I'm here today with Dial Wesley. down to the matrix. This is my channel. <sighs> Guests these days. So this is Free Unikitty, aka Brianna, aka whatever the hell she wants to call herself. So tell us about yourself well like you said before i got published in the school's magazine for copyright purposes please check out my instagram and youtube i highly recommend it we'll leave that in the description below but anyway next so what got you right into poems so when i was younger um in sixth or fifth grade probably fifth so one of those days you know how people write those little holiday poems for like Mother's Day. So I obviously had to write one and then just wrote it, but I didn't really pick up on it. But two years ago at high school, I was feeling pretty bad about myself, you know, low self-esteem. And then one day I just started like looking on the internet and like Google and all that, looking at poems from like, you know, Rupi and Atticus. And then next thing you know, I just started writing my own poems. I just put, picked myself up, you know? And then my first poem I wrote was Sweet Dreams. Okay, so speaking of poems, I decided to go sniff on your little Instagram and steal one of your poems so we could talk about today. He's a stalker. So today, because we're going to excuse that little rude comment, okay. I brought you to my second favorite poem, Perfectionist. Oh. So, okay. would you like to read this poem to our viewers? Gladly. Perfectionist. Factors. So many factors. Every detail needs to be in order. Normal is a new perfect. Not to me. Perfection is overrated. Difference is unique. No one is perfect. I am not perfect. You are not perfect. Why do we look for perfection? It is scary. Free Unikitty. Oh, lovely poem. So let's have some have some questions about the poem. First one, what led you to write Perfectionist? So basically, I, all my life I grew up, you know, I have to be this. I have to be the best in my class. I have to be always perfect. My clothes need to be perfect. You know, everything has to be perfect to the T. Like even if I'm doing like a school project, it has to be perfect. So everybody, you know that famous quote everybody says, you know, no one's perfect so, you know i got a little inspiration i'm like why not write a poem about a perfectionist you know not everybody's perfect okay so as you may know and my subscribers may know my instagram name is perfection less follow please anyway yes but on my um page i view perfectionist as something that everyone has but it's so unique that no is no one says a perfect what is your take on being perfect well, being perfect is, is there's no there's no real definition of what perfect is. Like to me, I think I'm perfect. I mean, I'm unicorn obsessed. I'm a poet and I'm a gamer. I'm just like that's perfect to me. Like I may not be fancy. I may not be like rich like Beyonce. Please follow me, Beyonce. But um, yeah, I may not have everything that a person might want, but I just love myself and I just find myself perfect. Like. I don't have to be the best at everything, you know? As you should, because perfection is not one way. So, in your poem, you ask this question, why do we look for perfection? Can you answer that for us? I mean, people in the world, like today in the media, everybody looks for, you know, perfection. Like, you know, those stupid high standards, like, you know, you have to be skinny to be this, you know, you have to be all that crap. Like, no, I don't, I don't do that. Like. Why do you, why do people look for perfection? Like, why don't people just be happy with themselves the way they are? Like, look at me, I'm not skinny 
or I'm not this, I'm not, I'm not that, but like, why do people look for perfection? Like, why don't you just like be grateful for what you are now? Because I feel like in today's society, when it comes to the word perfection, it's more like strictly labeled onto women yeah. and also men, but it's more viewed on women because like the society tells women that they must have an hourglass figure yes. or a toothpick body. And now like, now they're realizing like, being perfect is not about having the right size. Like now, people are supporting, oh, you gotta be thick in order to get a man. But before, like literally like a couple of years ago, they were saying that being fat ain't gonna get you no man. See how like society changed that? They changed the real perfection and so make it harder for people, especially women, to fit the ideal standard of how beauty is supposed to be viewed by the man. We don't do this here. See, like, that's this why, is the 21st century. See, like, that's why I'm a perfectionist. No. Like, it says, like, you know, like, look at it says, not to me. Normal is a new perfect. Like, no, it's not. Like, normal is not perfect. Normal is just normal. Like, everybody's not normal. Like, I'm definitely not normal. So it's like, you know, why why you gotta, why you gotta be like that, you guys? Like, no one's perfect. But I feel like, like, especially on social media, which stretches perfection down to a T, like you said, yeah. One, especially Instagram. Instagram models be posting these pictures, and then people be following these Instagram models, and then as they see them on the screen, they be like, "Oh, I can't be like that." I know. And they try to copy it because they think if they copy them, they'll be perfect as them, not realizing they're just losing themselves. Like, and I said in my previous video, you can't lose what makes you different from others just yeah. to please other people. And it's just like what you said, no one's perfect. No one has the body shape that everyone must have. Like, it's so hard, especially on young girls growing up in the society where all they've been taught, oh, you got to wear makeup. You have to look like this. You must have this or that. You must have a boyfriend in order to be happy. No, that's not the perfect life. Yes, and generally, like, you want to be happy. And if you think having a man or if you swing the other way, having a girl makes you happy, then that makes you happy. Why you got to do it to please the society standards? I'm, like, sick and tired of that. And they dragging this word perfect as if it's a brand. No, it's not. Because then that brand is going to stick with you. And then you're going to sit there feeling like, oh, I can't be this. And then you start feeling bad because... You see, other people could be quote unquote perfect, but you can't. But you are perfect. You're perfect in your eyes. You're perfect to your friends, to your significant other if you have one. So why please community standards? You know, it's just not, it's also just not about body image. I feel like it's more about like a friendship, you know? Like some people, you know, they're friends and they just like make stupid mistakes. Like I made stupid mistakes. He probably made stupid mistakes. <laughs> I feel like everybody makes mistakes, you know, like, you know how friends fight and all that because, like, over stupid, petty stuff. But, like, nobody wants to, like, simply just sit down and, like, talk stuff out. Like, nobody, I mean, everybody makes mistakes and, like, people are not perfect when it comes to, like, you know, like, friendship. But, like, you know, if you're meant to be, like, friends and there's, like, there's no definition of, like, a perfect friendship, you know? It's, like... If you're willing to work out something, some differences between like friends and you know, then that's that's perfection. Like you know, you just worked out something good. You just worked out what could have been like a great friendship, and you just like repaired it. You know, not everything has to be like bad. Not everything is nothing's perfect. Like everybody who thinks everything has to be perfect, please get out. Please get that out of your head. Nothing is perfect. Unless you're following me and I tell you everything is perfect, that's because I think you're perfect and everything you do can be perfect unless you're doing a crime. I don't associate with that, but hey, T. But it's like what you're saying, nothing is perfect. Body, friendship, relationships, anything is never perfect. It all starts off like, eh, you build it. And then people just want to call it perfect. No, there's nothing perfect. Because like what you said with friends, everyone don't care who says this saying they got the perfect friend group no you don't because everyone's friend group fight fight from time to time about nonsense it's not meaning if you fight it doesn't mean your friend group is not perfect it means it's healthy because if everyone agreed on every little thing that everyone said i would not want to live in this world no one would like to live in this world because you need the differences to show how your thing 
differently. Hello, keyword, differently, thank you. Uniquely and everything. What makes you you, you? You cannot be sitting here like, oh, I'm gonna become a poet just because Brianna said to become a poet and because I just wanted to copy her poem. No. You can know. Don't influence my viewers, please. Okay, okay, okay. it's his show. I'm like on a- His show, his show. On a morning, his show. mid afternoon rant. All right. <laughs> Tea, anyway. But it's like, you have to realize that, huh, that's gonna be corny as hell. My, that song from Hannah Montana, Nobody's Perfect. Oh, please do not dance oh, it. Oh, okay. <laughs> God. <laughs> See, that wasn't even a perfect dance week. My criticism I, was a perfect year. But do I care? I don't care. Like, look at me. Look at me. If you follow my Instagram, well, if you know me personally, everybody knows I'm obsessed with unicorns. I love how she's taking over my child about unicorns. No. Next. <laughs> Great. Now you made me forget my point. Lovely. We're moving on. Okay, so <laughs> we spent so much time talking about perfection. Yeah. Okay, let's get away from your poem and talk about poems in general. All right. Spill the tea on that. How do you feel about poems in society? Well, I mean, like, I feel like poems, they don't really get enough recognition, you know? There's, like, like, um, you know how people, like, write books, you know, authors and all that? Like, yeah. nobody really reads books anymore, you know? Like, 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 oh, look, this is just a book, right? Like, oh, flip a page, that's it. Like, you know, I'm just, like, forced to read a book for, like, a paper or something, like, you know, like when you really like, when you really like take a book and like read it through, like you understand like some some cool poems, you know, and all that, all the cool points. Like, like in my like in my um, like my poem, I got published like very deep. Me, oh, it's backwards. That's okay. But like, anyways, like since I got published in the book, my my poem is like very beautiful, and like I feel like people don't really like read anymore. Like people should really like read more stuff like whether it's books or poems like i feel like even if you don't really read just like you know just take a chance and like you know read like you can learn stuff like look at albert einstein look at look at barack obama they all they all read something at least and like you know barack obama barack obama first black president like we're so read. sorry for getting your name wrong well oh, her sorry <laughs> if he's watching but yeah like <laughs> but yeah like you know just like read you guys like poetry poetry is beautiful it may not be understandable but it's like really beautiful see because i love how you said that because that leads right into the next question how do you feel about poem being more involved into the education system so i mean like if not in, i can't just say in college but like if you guys know like the poetry foundation um most English classes, like, you know how they pop up, you know, one of those readings, like, hey, today we're going to read this person's poem on the, the website, Poetry Foundation. I just feel like, you know, poems are becoming more, like, they're becoming more mainstream now. Like, people are actually reading poems and, like, finding, like, cool little deep meanings to all those things. They write, you know, poems, poets. She's a lost for words. Yeah, it's like... AKA for all poets. It's like, when you're... It's like, of course I'm lost for words. I mean, like, when you read... When you just read a poem, it's like... It's like, wow, it's like very, very deep meaning, you know? I get what you're saying. So now, this goes to the next question. How do you feel has, has social media played an effect into poems in the society? So, I mean, like... Like, I make my poems relatable. So, like... Um... Hmm... Yeah, I just like really make my poems relatable. Like I talk about, I talk about something about sadness. Like everybody has, not everybody is sad, but like, you know, people feel like depressed. So like I make my poems relatable. Like I write this poem on depression. I write this poem on happiness. Like, like just people need to like read more poems and like, you know, they'll cheer up. It's not just me. Like I don't want to be biased, but like, you know, poems like they, they're just something to read. Like, if you're feeling down, just post a poem on social media. Like, hey, I like this person's poem. They really made me happy. Like, let me share this knowledge of poetry with you. I get what you're saying, because I feel the same way about art in general. Because I feel like, if you feel like in your in type of type, a type of emotional state, so like depression or everything, I feel like if you take a look at some nice, beautiful artwork, you can like get up into a different look. I feel like some artists captures like depression in like a beautiful way to like show you that 
you shouldn't be scared of depression or it's natural to have depression or to feel depressed about something but it's better to feel okay after and not stay in that depressed state for long and i want to do that with my art my original goal is like to make some my art influence some other person's life like if they feel down or they feel happy they can look at some type of art and let's say it's mine and they can just feel happy and share that inspiration and i feel like with social media that's possible because everyone's always sharing something it's either a meme or a interesting post or something serious like news and i feel like if everyone who decides to like if they're depressed or they just feel different they can look at something that can make them feel better so a poem a story art piece listen to a nice composed music or a podcast there we go there's everything around us is helping us express ourselves and in order to like feel better about ourselves i would like to say and let's say transition into like a new mood from like the current mood social media can help with that because you can just share it especially you don't even have to share it to the whole world you can share it to your group of friends because who know your group of friends could be feeling the same way and they're just not saying anything I mean, speaking of speaking of what you said on art, like I actually wrote a poem on art. I don't know if you guys saw it, but like, please check it out. It's on my Instagram. I think I, yeah, I posted it on YouTube as well. So just check it out. But yeah, like I wrote a poem about art because like I really do have like an eye for art. Like I think art is like, it's like a picture. Somebody paints a picture and it's like, you know, a bunch of different messages. Like this, this post, this person draws a picture of a, um, let's say a bird, you know that represents peace, that represents hope, that represents like getting lost, distance. Like it can mean, it can mean literally anything. Like the poem I wrote about art, like I just feel like that inspires like creativity right there. Like, you know, like if you like art, you can write it. Like, like life is art, like we are art. Like this, this whole thing is art right now. You know, I, you know what I'm saying? I get what you're saying. <laughs> and like, I feel like some people don't realize like artists is, poets, musicians, actors, and any other creative outlet people. Unicorns? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, I feel like they are like giving us something to be happy about in order to like show that we can express our feelings because maybe as a young child, I can't express my feelings. And I see this like amazing actor who's like giving the best performance of his or her life. And that can inspire me to become an actor because I feel like with acting, you can ex unlock that inner, inner feeling of yourself and to put it into a character. Same thing with art, same thing with poems, same thing with music. They're giving us something, an outlet to help with our feelings, especially with people who has trouble with expressing how they feel about things. And that is like the tea. <laughs> See, that's why I make my poems all relatable. Like, cause I know people have problems, like, I've had problems, he has problems, everybody has problems at some point, like, that's why I make my poems, like, relatable, like, some may be about love, some may be about sadness, some, like, some of my poems, is like, it's, like, really good, like, if you, if you take time to actually look at them, or even hear me speak them, like, you really step back and think, like, wow, that's really a beautiful poem, like, I now have this inspiration to write, or even, like, share with people, like, I just make poems relatable, and, not just me, like I said, I'm not being biased, but like, if people make more relatable poems, it's like, you know, it's like, it connects people together in a way, you know? And that's something we all need, and that's the tea. So I guess that's all the tea that's filling with me here today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the channel with your friends. Don't forget to press the notification bell to let you know when I upload a new video. And follow me on social media at Profession West. You can follow her on Instagram at BrinUnikitty. Her YouTube's also the same for you and a kitty. And we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.